Okay, we're going to take a look at what it takes to write this app uh, on the App Store, My New Image Picker. All right, so here it is on the App Store, and uh, there's a couple of screen samples here. It starts off with uh, five family pictures, allows the user to select pictures from their image library or take pictures with the camera, and then uh, starts this, when the user presses play, starts this raucous demo where stuff bounces all around the screen, makes all kind of noise, uh, you know, depending on what hits what. If you uh, tap on the buttons on the top of the screen, you know, one of the family pictures will drop. If you tap on the center of the screen, then whatever five pictures that the user has selected here are going to drop. Uh, the group of five. So once this this game that you see, you know, in play is going to be dropping these five pictures. If you hit play without selecting any pictures, then these five family pictures will drop. If you press the spray button, then all these colorful uh, sprites bounce around. If you press the quit button, you quit. Okay. Let's take a look at that uh, in Xcode. Now there's a video already that assumes you kind of know everything and so we're going to do some smaller videos going step by step. So if you start off at the main storyboard there you see that uh, view controller that's got our buttons and images in it. If I pick uh, that camera button control click you can see that it's attached to pick my image one function in the view controller. Right? And so that function, that, that method will get called when, uh, when you press that button. Okay, If you go to the library button, control click it, you'll see that now select my image from live is uh, attached. So that method will run. And when the user uh, presses that button, the select my image live method's going to run in the view controller.m file and uh, you know those actions will, will happen. Okay? The user presses the play button that's gonna do the play game method in the view controller. That just opens up the sprite kit scene, a sprite kit game. If the user presses quit, we're gonna quit the game. I think that's not something we're supposed to do but I want to quit the game so that I can reset the state. In a later version of the game, we'll reset the state by removing all children. Anyway, so that's the main storyboard. Now let's take a look at uh, let's go take a look at the code. In our view controller dot h, we've defined these five IB outlets. Those outlets are the images, my image one through five. Okay. If we switch back over to the storyboard, click on an image, we'll see that. Let's control click. And you see that there's a referencing outlet there, my image one. Goes to the view controller. And that'll cause uh, you know that'll allow my image one to be referenced in your code in the viewcontroller.m file or anywhere if you if depending on its scope so back to the viewcontroller.h where we have our image views defined just below that we have our IB actions defined and those are the methods that are going to get executed when the user presses the buttons select my image one select my image two like we saw up above or pick my image one pick my image to right here and unfortunately the you know I named them kinda stupidly but uh, pick my image one's gonna let you take a photo the next IB action play game when the user presses play and then the next IB action quit game when the user presses quit I'll take another quick look back at that on the storyboard so that's play the user presses that, that's going to do the play game action. The user presses quit, it's going to do the quit action. All right. When the user presses play, it's going to launch this game scene. 
and this is the uh, you know you, you this is really kind of what you can assume you start out with what I start out with we all start out with uh, is that you know Apple sample code so that when you did move to view uh, or I'm sorry the sample code in the view controller loads this scene so go back to the the uh, view controller <clears throat> this SK scene is defined up here right, and this is exactly what Apple gives us to load the game. A little lower in the view controller, so I just made a method that says play game, and that uh, Alex and init's the SK view and unarchives the game scene. That's well, you know what Apple gives us. I'm setting up my sprite images here in the view controller that I'm going to use because they're globally defined because I need my sprite images available in the view controller here I also need them available in the game scene I'll explain more about that a little bit lower in the view controller here's each of the functions that select the images select my image 1 from live select my image 2 from live and so on, three, four, five, and then the pick functions. Now these functions, these methods, use a UI image picker controller, and so they are, because we're using a UI image picker controller, we have to respond to some methods, some delegate methods. We have to declare ourselves to be a UI image picker controller delegate, and because we did that, we have to implement these couple of methods. And so right here, in case the user picked something, the image picker controller did finish picking media with info, is the stuff that returns the image, if the, or the method that returns the image that the user picked. And down at the bottom, the image picker controller did cancel method is called when the user cancels the image picking. So this image picking stuff we'll do in the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.